Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what I feed my horses and explain why I feed it. So without further ado, let's get to the barn. In this video, I'm going to show you what I feed my horses and why I feed it. I have the links listed to all the products below in the description box, so you can feel free to check them out yourself. Just to give a little bit of background on my horses, Star is a 16 year old quarter horse with good feet and healthy joints, but sometimes she has a hard time keeping her weight up and appears to have seasonal allergies. Callie, on the other hand, is one that to get fat on air, but her joints need a little bit of help and her feet are far from perfect. First up is actually the grain that I use. Strategy was recommended to me a few years ago by a trainer and I've since been using it. I've personally seen some great results while using it. About a couple months after I started feeding Strategy, it, they updated their formula to now include the Outlast, which is great for gastric support. Strategy GX is known to meet the many needs of equines, and it's also something that my two find very tasty. The feed in the blue barrel is actually a pelleted mineral by Kent Feeds. Although the bag was supposed to be for another animal, the feed store accidentally mixed up the order and I ended up with one bag of this. The suggested dosage is 3 to 5 ounces a day. It's a granulated vitamin and mineral supplement that's been designed for horses on grass or grass mixed roughage. The last thing that both of my horses get is ProBios. This is to ensure my horses maintain a healthy and active digestive system. Since we're at a boarding barn where some of the hay is made and others is purchased from various suppliers, not all hay is the same. Some of them are definitely better and more nutritional in value than others, and there's really not much that can be done. For as little as 22 cents a day, this makes this an affordable way to offer good bacteria within my horse's system, allowing them to keep their systems at healthy and normal levels. Rice bran is a rich source of fat and can be used to increase both the calorie and fiber intake. This, in doing this will also provide a safe way to give your horse the extra fat and calories without getting them hot in the process. This is fed to Star mainly throughout the winter months when she seems to struggle the most in keeping on weight. For as little as 29 cents a day, I am able to feed her the Maxi Glow rice bran in meal form. Star is also given a scoop of MSM daily to help with their day-to-day -day life and exercise. It has anti-inflammatory properties and is used for joint support in horses. I originally started this as a cheap preventative to keep her joints going strong. Since I've been feeding this for the last eight or so years, it's been helping keep her joints moving great. On average, I spend about 13 cents a day for this supplement. As I mentioned earlier, Star is a horse that appears to have seasonal allergies and can sometimes even appear to be heavy. I've had her checked by multiple vets and they keep coming back with allergies. Yes, there's other respiratory supplements on the market and yes, I have tried them. But when I put them in her grain, I cannot get her to even touch it. When I heard about this supplement, I was a bit skeptical to try it due to the luck, or the lack thereof, that I've had with previous supplements. But what's different with this is it's made with natural herbal blend that's able to exist in oxygen flow to the lungs and also able to support the respiratory system. For as little as a dollar a day to help ensure a healthy respiratory system, it was a great addition to my program. Here's Catley's supplements. First off is Biotin 100. It's a source of biotin to help support strong hooves and healthy hair growth. For as little as 18 cents a day, I'm able to offer her an easy to feed supplement, other fats and carbohydrates to help encourage normal quality hoof growth. Lastly for Callie is Cosequin ASU. Late last spring, we were actually having a lesson and she ended up showing up lame. I ended up cold hosing her and gave her a few days off and I have seen no change. It was at that point that I set up a, an appointment with the vet and we were able to take a set of pictures and to find out that her hocks were fusing. The vet originally offered us three options, but I only however remember two. Option one was to start her on the ASU, give her a month off to allow the product to really get in there and work and see what happens. Or there was option two, which was to go straight to injections. I've since noticed when she's not on ASU, it's a bit pricier at $1.86 a day, but if it's doing the job, it's well worth 
the dollar eighty six. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.